I want to talk a little bit about the side lying breastfeeding position, such an ideal position to nurse your baby in when they're very young and nursing frequently and you are extremely tired. This is a great position because it takes all the stress off of your neck and your upper back. The safest place to practice this position is on a rug in your baby's nursery or bedroom. I would first place a clean white sheet down on top of the rug. What I do is have Bracy latch on first and then very slowly and very, very carefully, I lower myself down with him, holding his head with my hand and I sort of get to this position and that way I make sure he's latching on because I have a really hard time getting him to latch on when I'm lying on my side already. You can lay down like this first and have your baby latch on from here, which is what I did with my older babies, but Bracy's too little for that right now. So one advantage of this side lying breastfeeding position is that you're taking all the strain off of your neck and your upper back, which you're gonna have all day long as you nurse your baby, tense up, carry your baby around, burp your baby. There's a lot of sort of pressure you can get on your neck and your upper back. And I really suffer from a lot of pain from this from my other babies. And the side lying breastfeeding position really alleviated that. One of the cons of this position though, is that you can fall asleep while your baby's nursing. And if your baby is anything like Bracy, they can stop nursing, they can start sucking. And what happens is you wake up at some point later and you really have no idea how much your baby nursed, whether you completed the feeding, whether they were awake, burped, and rejecting more food. So you really don't know how much your baby has eaten. And it's not a very efficient way to breastfeed a newborn. I have to confess that this happened to me a lot over the past week. Bracy's so small that his weight gain has been a crucial issue for us over the past week. And in fact, we checked him at the doctor yesterday and had he not gained enough weight, he would have been sent back to the NICU. So the amount he was consuming at each of his eight plus feedings a day was really, really important. I fed him a lot in the side lying breastfeeding position on the rug in my bedroom this week, laying down a sheet because I was just so completely exhausted. I felt like I couldn't manage to sit up and nurse him in my new you know, nursing chair. So with that being said, if your baby's very small like mine and your doctor wants you to pay very close attention to making sure they get complete feedings, you might not wanna opt for this side lying breastfeeding position. But if your doctor is okay with it and you know it's gonna be nursing and then quite a bit of just sucking on you, by all means, go for it because it's a much more restful position for mom. Mm-hmm.